Hey, how's it going everyone? So following last year's monumental Disney and Fox deal, it looks like Sony Pictures could be up for sale next. As according to Sony Pictures Entertainment Chairman Tony Vincicara, that might be a reality for the company in a very short amount of time. So the Sony Pictures Entertainment Chairman sat down with Variety and talked at length about his time at the company for the past year, kind of the changing business model and everything in Hollywood and what's going on with the different controversies and how Sony is trying to combat that to stay in business. Now he opens up his statements by saying, quote, if we don't grow, we'll be somebody's purchase. I didn't take the job to do it for a year and sell the company. He was named the new Sony chairman last year and says that the only way they'll keep up in business is if they keep up with the times in an ever-growing media landscape, as more and more consumers want digital stuff like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and things like that where you can just access content instantaneously and stream it from your home and you don't even have to go out to see a big movie just like what Netflix did recently with Bright that was a big budget movie with around a 90 million dollar budget if I remember correctly and that's like going to see a movie at the theater but you can just watch it on your leisure at home and he said that when he came into the company quote there was a pressure to create a sense of urgency and making sure people are aware the business is changing rapidly if we're not on our toes we're not going to be in business very very long. He followed that up by saying, we're a tiny little minnow fighting against all these gigantic companies. If they want to step on us, they could reasonably do it. And he's of course talking about Facebook, uh, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, and potentially Disney themselves. So this is kind of interesting, but not that surprising. Sony hasn't had the best luck in terms of box office success over the past few years. Obviously the dire stuff that led to Spider-Man being leased at Marvel, so to speak, was because that franchise had suffered for several years and they were trying to figure out what to do with it and recently they've had a very big success with Jumanji the new sort of reboot sequel starring The Rock, Kevin Hart and others but beyond that they really haven't had a franchise that has stuck with them you know they've tried the Emoji movie they're doing the Slender Man movie they tried Ghostbusters these things didn't really work out for them and it seems like they're one of the smaller players in terms of the big five now studios that there are around because originally it was the big six with Fox, Disney, Universal, Warner Sony and Paramount, but now it's been reduced to five once this Disney and Fox deal goes through. And a couple months ago, I think Deadline did speculate that we would be seeing more mergers and buyouts of companies because of the ever-changing media landscape, like I mentioned, that the smaller studios really can't compete. Like, for instance, Lionsgate, AMC, MGN, they will probably be bought out by somebody like a CBS or Universal, something like that. Other mergers will happen, it's just a matter of time, I think. So drop your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this? Regardless of who ends up buying Sony, if that even happens, Spider-Man's rights and licenses to all his surrounding characters would finally come home to Marvel proper. And for more updates on everything in the Marvel Universe and this Sony deal, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thank you guys again for checking this video out. If you want to get even more updates from us, check out our social media platforms, our website for news and editorials, and if you want to see our content improve and help us out, donate to us on our Patreon and you can get exclusive rewards.